This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's get right into the news. Subscribe, hit the like button. You know, have positive vibes today. It's Saturday, okay? First, we got Megan Thee Stallion responding to Jermaine Dupri. She said, who is that? Who is he to be talking about me? Because, you know, Jermaine Dupri said, uh, girl rap, a lot of girl rap is stripper rap now. And it should be called strap, you know, trapping in the strip club. I agree with him, okay? Now, Megan Thee Stallion, she got bars and everything. But, you know... The content's different. I like Meg Thee Stallion, and Meg Thee Stallion is a good addition to the culture. Uh, she's a good addition to female rap, right? But for her response was like crazy. She should have just dismissed it. But being young in your 20s, you respond in a way you probably shouldn't. Uh, it doesn't mean anything will happen. It's just, hey, man, she said, who's Jermaine Dupri? Well, Jermaine Dupri is someone who's been in the game for about almost 30 years okay uh <laughs> so you know you've been in the game for about six months where people cared about you okay you've been in the game for about a year but you've been in the game for about six months where people actually cared so to talk like that so early on uh might bite you in the buttocks okay because you might not be here next year it's a good chance you know you're not really selling like that um you got a lot of support but you're not selling like that yet you haven't been pushed to that level yet you're on 300 entertainment you probably didn't sign a 360 uh this is what cardi b's in the 360 getting pushed on atlantic you know so they have a bigger investment they're putting millions of dollars into her now millions of dollars have been put into meg the stallion i'm not downplaying her i think she's very talented okay she's caught the attention of many people but She's not on that level yet to be talking like that. She got to chill out a little bit. Um, Jermaine Dupri, you know, I think he's also crossing a conversation where you probably should stay out of. It's not even worth getting into that conversation. Jeezy, he's dropping August 23rd. I think Rick Ross drops in two weeks. So Jeezy's dropping TM104, his last album. Now, I hope he goes out strong with this album. His last album was great. I like that song with him and Diddy the most off that album. Uh, Bottles Up. The vibe. Cheesy gives you a vibe. He says some clever stuff. Gives you a vibe. Cheesy's one of my favorite artists every time he drops. I'm not so much for the motivational speaking he does on his channel, but I love the motivation in his raps. Those are fire. Okay. Uh, Jeezy also that I don't really like the intro the the teaser video to it he's trying to make it like uh, Narcos but it's like dude uh, you're not be big Meech you know you, you did your thing but no I, I want I want to just see Jeezy be Jeezy you know I don't want him to be somebody he's not he is the snowman he's a legend okay uh, one of my favorite artists, like I'll say. He'll always be one of my favorite artists. He gives you a theme music. Good. It gives you a vibe. It makes you want... It, it does motivate you. His music motivates you to go get it, whatever you do. Uh, so, I'm looking forward to this Jeezy album. Then we got Rick Ross's album. I've heard nothing but disappointing tracks coming out of this album so far. Um, supposedly, he's teasing us with his track with Lil Wayne and Pusha T. That can be considered disrespectful because... These two don't really get along with each other. They didn't even know they were going to be on the track. It's his way of trying to like bring them together. But I'm going to be honest. Uh, we'll have to see. I mean, it could turn out to be super fire. Pusha T, Lyricist, Lil Wayne goes in, Lyricist, and Rick Ross. So I think it would have been a better vibe if they all knew about it and were cool with it. Because then they would have bounced off of each other. That didn't happen, so I don't know if we can expect them to push each other. Like, it's that competition. You can hear when Nas and Rick Ross come on a track, you can hear that Nas heard Rick Ross's verse and came correct on it. Nas is motivated by competition, always. Um, anyways, looking forward to all this. We'll have to see what happens. Hopefully, Port of Miami 2 is not a disappointment because this is probably Rick Ross's last album. Anyways, guys. Stuart Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button, and I will check you guys on the next video.